My name's Steve from Shepparton, and Victoria, and I own a 1986 VL Commodore. When I bought the car, it was uh, pretty much just a, a stock standard six-cylinder, three-liter. Um, you know, ha had nothing done to it. It was basically original. It still had all the sensors and heat shields and everything all intact and factory air bo box and uh, had been pretty much untouched. So um, a few years earlier, maybe around 2007 or so, I'd had a, a yellow VL uh, originally, which was a, a turbo manual BT1. I'd actually sold that car at the time to, uh, to get engaged and uh, pay for a ring and uh, life, you know, life change things and so on and always wanted to replace that car down the track. I think I had a bit of a soft spot for it. So uh, yeah, bought a, bought a pretty tired old car that uh, just as a, a blank canvas and, and started from there to go about kind of trying to replicate that original BT1 styling and everything, but uh, try and make it you know, look standard, but, but you know, have a, have a bit more power and uh, you know, just finished off a bit different, but always keep that original look. Once we got it painted, it, it felt like it, it needed an engine and uh, rushed into that a little bit. And we uh, set it up with a, with a twin turbo setup out of a uh, R32 GDR. H had that set up for about 12 months and um, then decided to, to change it over to the V8. So had an engine built by uh, Spencer Race Engines. It's a uh, LS1 5.7 litre alloy Higgins heads and uh, tunnel ram injected. Made just over 400 horsepower at the wheels on the dyno. It's all ran through a uh, full built automatic, so it's full, fully manualised. Uh, you know, big stall converter, 4200 RPM stall converter. Uh, all the diff and everything has all been redone. 411s uh, diff gears. Uh, runs a tunnel ram injection set up on it, so it kind of looks carby, so it really has the the, the look of that era, so it looks like it's something out of the 80s, but it's late model reliability, which is quite good. You just get in and turn the key and starts every time. Really wanted to just make it a cruiser you could enjoy with your friends, um, you know, do summer nats with the boys and those kinds of things, but then you can you know, put the family in it and enjoy it, and it's just always reliable and, and never really have to worry about it too much. Just jump in and drive it whenever you feel like it. But after I turned 18, I had a, a Ford ED Falcon. Um, which I just tinkered away with and did a few bits and pieces and built a Nissan 200SX in uh, around about 2006 which we unveiled at, at Motor X which was probably you know the, the the best car to date that I've done. I think as you as you change you know you go, you go back to your original heritage and I always really had a soft spot for like the you know Blue Meanie VK Commodores and VL Walkinshaws and, and that was kind of my teenage passion and I, I think that's what drew me back. I've done a couple of the kind of big shows. It's been the summer nuts twice and mostly just get it out at the local shows and do uh, you know spring car nuts and uh, your Merca show us your wheels and your rower show and shine and those things typically. A few years back there was uh, myself and a, and a handful of mates. We'd been talking about a car club in Shepparton for quite a while and uh, it's something that we that we all felt passionately about and trying to do something. So we put together a car club which is uh, any cars the abbreviation or Northeast Customer and Restored. In, uh, in Shepparton and we uh, you know we did a few cruises and bits and pieces and then we started to put together a, a Friday night kind of meet up you know every about four to six weeks and uh, the very first one we did we uh, weren't really sure how that would go you know we'd, we'd kind of marketed it just through Facebook and social media and a bit of word of mouth and you know hoped that we might get you know 30 40 cars there would be a really good turnout and I think on our very first one we had just over 100 cars uh, we got in about three three uh, crews or Friday night meets on before Daylight Savings finished up for last year and I think at our at our main or biggest event we had probably just over 300 cars so um, yeah that was that was really big for Shepparton um, I, you know we don't have a massive population I think that kind of turnout based on the town size was really good. I think with uh, when I had my 200SX, it was, uh, you know, we weren't really all out on it and you want everything to be, you know, 110% and it was done by, you know, some of the big name workshops and those kinds of things where with this car, you know, I've done road trips to Melbourne to get parts in the middle of the night and, you know, get back early morning and, and go to work and, you know, been in the shed with my mates and stuff like that and 
Um, you know, I had some really good friends help me out, and I think uh, when you look back in that in years to come, you know, it's the stories and memories and those kinds of things to have done it with your mates rather than just kind of, you know, pay the bill and pick it up from that workshop just, uh, you know, lasts a bit longer in your mind.